I see we have a function f shown, and we also have a function g that is perpendicular to the graph of f. So before I even read the rest of this, I need to get my slope of f so I can figure out what's perpendicular to it. Just remember your slope is your change in y over your change in x. So it looks like we lost two, so negative two in my y. We gained one in the x, so positive one. So if my slope of f is negative two over one, remember for perpendicular, you have to change your sign, change your fraction. So this should change to positive one half. So I start my equation for g now. I know that g is gonna be equal to one half x plus b, but remember they're gonna to have to give us a point or something to figure out what our y-intercept is. They do. They tell us that uh, is not only perpendicular to f, but it also passes through the point one three. That's an x, y point. So I can plug that in for this. I can say when my g or my y is three, and then I plug in for my x a one, what's gonna have to be b to make it equal to the other side. And it looks like one half, I'm gonna need an extra two and a half to get up to three. So my b is just gonna be equal to 2.5 here.